welcome back to Caravan Escapades. Hope everybody's keeping safe and well uh, and managing to cope with lockdown. It can be frustrating for all of us, um, but hopefully you guys are safe and well and keeping yourself safe and well. Uh, and like us, just looking forward to that day when we can all get back out there in our caravans and start enjoying the outside caravanning life again. Anyway, uh, what I want to talk to you about today, I don't know whether you can remember from a few vlogs back um, when I trialled a tow electric tester um, and it turned out to be a bit of a disaster. So like I said on the video, what I did was send that one back and order another one. Well, the other one has arrived. Um, this is, in fact, it comes in a nice little bag. This is the Maypole mp1805 13 pin socket tester um, comes with a 13 and a half meter lead um, 13 and a half meter lead what i mean 13 and a half meter so three and a half meter lead um, will that be long even for the disco probably um, maybe a bit of a stretch um, to get from the back of the car into the driver's seat but i guess i can always take it through the back um, and along there so best thing for us to do, I guess, is get outside. Let's give this a trial and see how we get on. It's a bit chilly out there. In fact, it's even threatening to snow, uh, but that won't deter us. So let's get out there and give this a go. OK, as you can see, I've decided to uh, record this while it's snowing. It's a bit chilly, so we'll uh, try and get it done as quickly as possible. Um, excuse the state at the back of the car. Uh, I have tried to clean it up a little bit. Well, I, in fact, I haven't tried to clean it up a little bit. Uh, I normally do keep the, uh, the car quite clean, but as you can imagine, the roads are quite muddy and salty at the moment. So with the Discovery 4, what I need to do is take off my tow electrics cover, um, and this will change dependent on, um, on your vehicle. Um, so I've got a couple of little clips here, which I undo take those off and just slide that off out the way so here's the maypole um, towing electrics connector um, tester sorry so it does come with a three and a half meter cable um, will that be long enough to go um, to the front of the discovery um, we'll find out so it's quite simple just connect as you would connect with your caravan put it on there twist and then lock it in place um, in fact we're all ready as you can know whether you can see showing a 12 volt permanent feed so we're already showing that so let's take it round to the front of the car uh, and see how we get on from there so here we are sat in the discovery um, thankfully it will reach just um, round to the front or at least enough for me to be able to see it so um, what I'll do is I'll start the engine um, you might hopefully still be able to hear me if not I'll put some subtitles on So there's the engine started. Um, we've got a couple of more lights up there now. Um, we've basically got the 12 volt switch. So that'll be the one for your caravan. I don't know how well you can see these lights on there. And we've also got the um, left tail light. Now the right tail light not being on is a little bit concerning. So that would indicate that I probably do have a problem of some description um it needs further investigation so let's try the others so next one will be the brakes yep you can see in the middle there the brakes uh, are illuminating um, left indicator yeah right indicator yep they're all working um, let's try the fog lights yeah so there's the fog light on and off um, and let's try the reverse light yeah, there's a reverse light on and off again. Um, so all in all, um, very, very easy to use. Um, very straightforward, comes in its own carry case. I think what I do need to do though, in fact, let me just turn the engine off in case you can't hear me. So let's just stop the car. Um, what I do need to do though is investigate why um, I've only got um, the left um, tail lights working. Um, so I need to have a look into that. Uh, but there we go, that is the Maypole MP1805 Tang Electrics Tester. So packing away uh, is opposite to, uh, to connecting it in. Um, disconnect your Tang Electrics or disconnect from your socket like you would previously. I'll refit the cover on the Discovery. Um, there 
we go. And then the unit does have a very handy sort of Velcro strap at the back. So if we fold the cables around, I think three and a half meters is probably long enough for uh, most vehicles. Um, certainly Discovery 4 is a long car and we've come around the back. I guess if you struggled, you could, if you've got a hatchback like me, um, you could sort of go through the car. So fold it up like that. Oh. Wrap the Velcro around like that. Pop it back into its bag, which is getting wet now anyway. Um, pop it back into its bag. Like so. Pull the bag tight and job done. Gosh, that was a bit chilly and cold out there. Well, at least we're back warm inside now. In fact, I think it's probably snowing. Uh, yeah, it's, you probably can't see that very well, but it's snowing a little bit heavier out there now. Uh, it's actually settle, settling, settling, settling. That's the sort of word, yeah. You can probably see that on the caravan windows. Um, it's a cold one out there. Not necessarily a day to do a test of um, a towing electric tester. Anyway, that worked so much better than the first trial um, I did of that other tester. A um, little bit concerning, I have an issue with the um, right rear lights uh, on the car, certainly on the car electrics. Um, what I'll do is I'll do some more investigation on that. I'll check the fuses, um, try and get the car actually connected to the caravan, um, see how we go, see whether there's any difference. I did, as I've mentioned before, have some major work done on the car recently where we had to take the whole body off. Um, so whether it's got disturbed there, but let's get all of that sorted. I hope get fully all of that sorted before we start uh, being able to get out there again in our caravans. So I'll do some more investigation on why, um, uh, why I've got that lights nor those rear lights not working. Uh, once I know what's happening, I'll put something in the comments below. I think that's the right way to point it anyway, in the comments below of what the uh, the problem actually was. But as far as usability, yeah, great, very easy to use, um, very straightforward. I'll put a link below um, how much it was, where I got it from. I got it from Amazon, but you can get it from several different places. If you guys have had experience of other tow testers, let me know. Let me know how you got on um, and we'll take it from there. So, like always, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Um, please, if you get the chance, can you like, subscribe, and share? Um, subscri sub sub blah, 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 blah. Subscriptions, uh, that's what I can't even say that word. So, subscriptions are steadily growing on the site, so thank you very much. Um, please share, please comment on the videos as well. Um, hopefully, we're starting to get a little bit better, and I've said that a few times, um, but I think we're getting there anyway. We're certainly getting there. So thanks again, guys. Like, subscribe and share. And that's bye from Caravan Escapades. And hopefully we'll see you again soon on the next vlog. Thank you.